Welcome back to Discovery Japan. Today we are taking you on a journey to the village of Morel Go, where the magic of rice plantation unfolds. Get ready to immerse yourself in the captivating story of the cranes of my village. It's summertime here in Hunel Gyok and the farmers are gearing up for the rice plantation. But this year they faced a challenge due to slight delay in rainfall. Luckily, the Bach River, the lifeline of this village and the Paro Valley, provides ample water during this crucial time. The Bachu River is diverted through a series of irrigation channels, ensuring that every paddy field receives the water it needs. This intricate network not only sustains the livelihood of the farmers but also nurtures the rice field. Modern tools and technology have become a common sight in agriculture. However, here in Hungrel Georg, we can still witness the use of traditional equipment called show. This centuries old tool is used for leveling and shuffling the mods, preferring the perfect mudware for planting. Rapid urbanization and changing land use pattern have presented notable challenges for these farmers. As Bhutan evolves into one of the fastest growing economic nations, the future of traditional farming practices hang in the balance. But hope is not lost. Amidst the younger generation pursuing higher education and other occupations, there is one young lady who has dedicated her entire lifetime to mastering these deep-rooted agricultural practices. She carries the rice saplings and shuffles through the field with unwavering commitment. The elderly woman in this village kickstart the plantation process by carefully bundling the rice saplings and placing them in a traditional basket called tu. They discuss the scarcity of the show too, wondering if it will be remade or discovered again next year. Just like the cranes that had returned to their celestial place, rice plantation happens only once a year, and these beautiful farmers are the last resort for our food security and the protectors of our age old tradition. Despite its small size, Hunrel Gewok managed to produce an impressive 113.7 metric tons of rice plantation just from 57.92 acres of cultivated land. It's truly a testament to dedication of these farmers and fertility of this remarkable region nestled in the Paro Valley. Well, that's all we have for today from Hunrel Gewok, but stay tuned for the second part of this small documentary where we will delve deeper into the challenges, issues and valuable contributions of this guild. Join us next time on Discovery Bhutan.